This is a crown and bridge procedure on tooth number 30. The assistant will place topical. For one to two minutes, and after one to two minutes has passed, pass the anesthetic syringe. Perform a full mouth rinse while the anesthetic takes place. The assistant will then get a preliminary shade. and always get the dentist to approve the final shade. Looks good. During this time, the assistant will also make the matrix for their temporary and make the opposing arch impression. I'm now making a matrix for the temporary. in the opposing arch. Okay. After those are complete, the dentist will come back in and the assistant will place isolation. Pass the mirror and explore. The dentist will then check to see if the anesthetic has taken full effect, pass the high-speed handpiece, and grab your HVE suction and air and water syringe. During this portion, you may be asked to change burrs or pass another instrument. After the crown prep is made, the assistant will then prep the retraction cord and pass it. Keep in mind this is an expanded function and some dentists do allow the assistant to perform this. Pass the packing instrument. After the cord has been packed, which in this case we're just going to move it down since we can't really pack it, the assistant will then remove isolation. The dentist will let the know, let the assistant know that they can go make their temporary. Okay, now making a temporary. The assistant should let the dentist know when the temporary is done and when they are ready to do the final impression. Temporary is done. I'm ready for the final impression. Okay. The assistant will then pass the cotton pliers back to the dentist to remove the retraction cord. Now the assistant is ready to mix the final impression material. In this case we are using Impregum. The assistant will load the syringe, pass it to the dentist, and then load the tray and pass it to the dentist. After the final impression has set, we will check the impression and then we will need to take our bite registration. For this check off, just tell me that we will then take, take our bite registration. We will then take our bite registration. Bite registration looks good. So we would then move forward by cementing our temporary in place. The assistant would then mix their temp bond. Mix the temp bond, loads the cement into the temporary crown, and passes it to the dentist. 
This also is an expanded function that a dentist might allow you to perform. After the crown is seated, the assistant will pass the bite stick. The patient would be instructed to bite down firmly until the cement has set. Once the cement has set, pass the scaler and the assistant, if assisting a dentist at this point, would use the HVE to suction. After scaling, the assistant would then pass the knotted floss. Once everything is cleaned up nicely, the assistant will then perform a full mouth rinse and will give the patient post-op instructions. Your post-op instructions should sound like this. Mr. Jones, your mouth is numb. Please do not eat until it awakens. Be careful not to bite your lip, tongue, or cheek. Keep in mind this is a temporary crown, so be careful not to chew anything really hard or sticky as it could break your crown or make it come off. If you have any issues, please let us know. We will call you once your permanent crown arises. arrives. Thank you and have a good day. Then you would document in your chart. Make sure you document all materials used. And that would conclude the crown and bridge procedure for the first appointment.